A deal to get the city out of its deal for the ill-fated Ash Street building downtown. However, it is not a deal set in stone. CBS 8 Steve Fiorina is working to break it all down for you and says there's still debate and a vote coming. The mayor called it a fair, lawful settlement for 101 Ash, but there's opposition. This process has been well informed, highly deliberative, and at its core, designed to minimize risks to taxpayers. Mayor Todd Gloria was careful not to put any exclamation points on the proposed settlement, rather than it's a way out of the woods. There is no perfect outcome. No matter how much patience or money we bring to bear, the circumstances we face offer no possibility of an ideal outcome or clean exit from this situation. It's a compromise coming six years after the city embarked on a lease to own deal covering the former headquarters for Semper Energy on Ash Street, which was plagued with asbestos contamination, and the nearby Civic Center Plaza, which houses 800 city employees. Under the proposed settlement, the city will take ownership of both Civic Center Plaza and 101 Ash Street in a transaction that will completely remove Sistera and CGA. The city has spent millions already and could be on the hook for over a hundred million more. The mayor voiced his personal anger at the history of that two block section of downtown San Diego. I continue to feel deceived by what was presented to me at that time. He said it would be a gamble, both risky and expensive, to continue the old path, possibly being tied up in the courts for the next 10 years. The city would receive $7.4 million in profits for Ash Street, while Sistera would keep $6.2 million for Civic Center Plaza, and CGA would waive a maintenance fee of $11.7 million. Others involved in the sale could still face criminal and civil penalties. Councilmember Vivian Moreno quickly reacted. This settlement will be a dark cloud hanging over City Hall for decades to come that buying this property doesn't fix any of its problems. Attorney Mike Aguirre vowed to try to void the agreement, calling it illegal. This is really slipshod, and this is exactly how the city got in trouble to begin with. And city attorney Mara Elliott is urging the city council to reject the settlement, citing ill-gotten gains and potential future liability. Council vote is planned next Monday. Steve Fiorina, CBS 8.